Hey there, it's Mike from the Beaten Trail. Today, I just wanted to give an update on the Grizzly. So we've had the Grizzly now for a couple months. I can't find too much wrong with it. So let's go back in time. I ride side-by-sides. I'm not a great driver. I make videos and I pretty much just try to do informative and educational videos. I used to ride a rancher on a rancher years ago. They were comfortable but I'm a little bigger now and, well, the Grizzly is definitely comfortable. I would say the Grizzly 700 XTR is probably the closest you're gonna get to a comfortable Cadillac ride. And so with that, what do you get? Well, the bigger tires are the only real piece that I would say some people may not like. These are really mud tires. Now we just drove around the ATV pilot program and there's rocks stuck in everything and you know we got some trees in here we're here filming this today uh, over here at Haneyville ATV trail system about 15 miles of trails uh, it is on the connector trail so if they do the connector trail system again next year which I hope they do it's right on the trail back to the story is the Grizzly when we bought it from Pine Grove, which I highly recommend you go there to buy any of your Yamaha products, whether it's an ATV or a side-by-side, -side, they really know their stuff. Adrian and Chris are great there. We, we got the seat and storage because I carry so much crap. Hand guards, I don't know how you pronounce it. A front light I put on there is a, just a cheap Amazon light. A storage tank for fuel on the front. We were doing the connector trail, so we didn't know how much fuel we were going to need, but it's got a four and a half gallon fuel tank. If you're on the road, you're going to get 100 miles on a tank, maybe 120. Don't don't hold me to it, but I was getting about 30 miles to a quarter of a tank indicator. So on the road, that's what you'll get. If you are riding off-road and doing a bit of four-wheel drive, you'll probably, your mileage will vary, <laughs> literally. You will probably will get about 15 miles per gallon, maybe more, maybe less. I, I weigh 250 pounds and more with all my gear, so you're pulling a lot of that around. But I do want to say it's very comfortable. The, the, the grips are standard issue. I have a couple phone mounts because i am always got a map on one side and filming on the other. Other than the GoPro mounts, I don't really have to add anything to her. Minimal maintenance, you know, as far as horsepower goes, is enough to carry me around. You could technically get a, something, you know, more storage on the front and get more ability to store and carry more stuff camping hunting but i would highly recommend that the uh, yamaha grizzly is what you go for you're going to pay a little extra but you are going to get the top-notch quality cadillac for the trail and and that's what i like i really am not a very experienced driver when it comes to atvs although i drew rode them when i was younger dirt bikes that kind of stuff i'm happy with it this uh, this is a f-150 six and a half foot bed. We do have a, a tonneau cover, which maybe takes up an inch or two. We put a little spacer there just so you don't hit the window or hit anything for it. It doesn't go near the window, but she just fits. We ratchet her in up. So if you do have a, um, a Ford F-150, of really of any kind with a six and a half foot bed, she'll fit with the door closed. We use ramps as normal. I know we did some experience testing with the mad ramps in the past you can use those as well there's a couple other brands out there depending how much you want to pay but we love our grizzly so i highly recommend give pine grove yamaha a call chris and adrian can put you in touch with someone in sales adrian is the service manager so bring all your uh, any any brand that you may have side by side bike or atv bring it to pine grove they know what they're doing and if you need special parts give chris a call He's the parts manager at Pine Grove and they do a great job. I'm really happy with this. I brought it in for one of the services. I mean, we do services on video. Nobody watches the service. I mean, everybody knows how to do it. We have them do it under warranty. It didn't cost a lot. We're just happy with it. So I, I'd really recommend that if you are looking for something, get a Yamaha. I love Honda. The Honda just was not as beefy as this. It's a smaller engine but the frame is smaller. This is nice, a good, comfortable seat. So I'm happy with it. So just a follow-up, we appreciate you watching all our videos. We're approaching 14,000 subscribers, so thank you, everybody. We have a lot of followers over uh, internationally, all over the world. You know, give us a shout-out. 
and we'll get some stickers out to you if you'd like. So if you see this video and you leave a comment, you want a sticker, say, hey, I want a sticker. And then you can private message us on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, The Beaten Trail LLC. Hopefully we'll have our original page back. And we will see you out there on the trail. Thank you. A big thank you to our partners and sponsors. Thank you again. We appreciate having you on board. Get over to Lit Industries for discounts on rock and billet lights while supplies last. And check out our hats and shirts over at the Beaten Trail store. We appreciate you watching, and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks.